Hey everyone, so once again I thought I'd do a video game pickups video, uh, including things that I've gotten over the last little while. Um, some things from before my last video, uh, and some things since my last video um, that, like, I just forgot to include some things last time, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd just put, all, put it all in this video. So first, I'm going to show you guys this. It's the Chrono Cross Music Selection uh, CD. It's a soundtrack, but not a complete soundtrack, of the uh, Chrono Cross game. Sorry. I'm very awkward. Very, very awkward. Uh, it came with the little uh, leaflet of a manual in there. Uh, and there's not much uh, damage to uh, the case itself considering this outside part is cardboard and the trim around it is plastic and even the disc is in pretty good condition this was like a pre-order bonus back in the day for when uh, you pre-ordered the Chrono Cross game for the PS1 and I just got it because it seemed a little interesting Along with that, I got a couple other uh, interesting things, at least to me, uh, in a bundle deal. I also got uh, two uh, PAL Dreamcast games. Uh, they're both just racing games, I guess. Uh, the first one, Sega Rally 2, uh, Sega Rally Championship, uh, complete with the manual uh, and the disc in there. And at least uh, this case here has no cracks or anything. But then the other game, uh, Metropolis Street Racer, has a big crack across the front uh, there, if you can see it. And it sort of has some sticker residue there, but that's fine. Like, I mean, at least inside the game is uh, in perfect condition. And uh, the person even included a uh, boot disc there, but I already have one, so I mean it's at least uh, still useful. And the manual is like really thick for these because it had to be in several different languages. Uh, another item that was included in that deal was uh, the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, of course, complete. Uh, that's it. Not much to say about that, it's just another Zelda game. Um, another thing that I got was uh, this I got from an, another store. Uh, it's a game for the 3DO, for the Japanese 3DO. It's by Crystal Dy Dynamics, it's called Total Eclipse. It looks like a shoot 'em up game, uh, but I can't really tell just by those two little screenshots. Um, yeah, then I got these three PSP games together. Uh, first is Me and My Katamari. Next is Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max. And Disgaea Afternoon of Darkness. Next is something that I wasn't sure about, but I picked them up anyways, just because they were two bucks each, and they were still working. Uh, and it is a uh, Monopoly handheld... Uh, game there uh, with no scratches on the screen uh, nothing missing uh, and it's from uh, let's see 1997 made by uh, Hasbro and this uh, Tiger Electronics uh, Wheel of Fortune game uh, both of them work fine and they were cheap so I thought might as well Another thing that I got just because it was cheap, it was on clearance sale, and I got it just because it seemed a little interesting, and I really like um, accessories or uh, peripheral devices and stuff like that. Uh, th there's this uh, gun controller. It works with uh, uh, iPod Touch with the iPod Touch uh, or Android phones or an iPhone. Uh, you just put the phone or iPod Touch in there, uh, and you can just adjust that to however large the device is. 
and you plug it into the side there with just your standard headphone jack, uh, 3.5 millimeter. Uh, so it'll work on pretty much anything now. And it came with a free game download, uh, and it works with a whole bunch of games, and it also came with a couple of AR cards. So I thought, why not? It's pretty interesting. It takes advantage of the camera on whatever your device is, so it's pretty cool. It was only three bucks, so I thought, why not? Now, another thing that I got recently is uh, a Turbo Graphics. And with my Turbo Graphics, I had the Keith Courage game, but I also got this Victory Run. And also, uh, a cart only a copy of Blazing Lasers, because I love shoot em ups. Uh, next over here, I got a uh, Berry Game Boy Color. I don't mind uh, the color of it, really. If it works, it works. And I just really wanted for once to have a Game Boy Color. And the game that I got with this is actually a game that I forgot to take out here. So let me just grab it. It's uh, Lufia The Legend Returns. Uh, and I paid 20 bucks for these two, so I feel like that was a good deal. Not an amazing deal, but, I mean, the game apparently is worth 15 bucks, so to get both of these for 20 worked out pretty good. Uh, next is uh, two PS Vita games that I got. The first one is Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus. I got it for 10 bucks, And um, Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. Uh, which is like those uh, iOS uh, escape games where you try to find your way out of a room. Uh, and it says that there's like 20-something different ways of uh, uh, completing the story and reaching a different uh, conclusion. Uh, so I find that a little interesting, but I don't know if I'd be uh, able to sit through that whole thing. Uh, next are a couple of Wii games that I just picked up today and that's uh... Wait, they're nothing that special, well at least the first two uh... the first one's Off-Road Extreme Special Edition uh... I don't know why it's specifically Special Edition because I'm pretty sure this is the only one they released and it is complete for those who care uh... Rubik's World and again, that's complete there. <laughs> and the last Wii game, uh, I got it for four bucks, and I feel like that's a good price for what it is. And it looks like a really interesting game. And that's um, now correct me if I'm uh, pronouncing this incorrectly. Uh, I believe it's Opuna or Opana or something like that uh, for the Wii by uh, Koi. I'm going to assume, uh, and there's lots of people that were involved making this game that have been involved in other major uh, RPGs over the last 20 years, um, in different aspects in making this game, and it was released in 2008, and it didn't sell very well, but I don't know, I, I feel like it's still worth uh, buying and playing it, like, I mean, it's an RPG for the Wii. It's going to have uh, some interesting mechanics, but uh, hopefully it's not too difficult because I'm not really big into RPGs because I suck at them and I can't really follow. Uh, next thing that I got, I got just because it was dirt cheap, was another uh, PlayStation Eye, just the camera, and it was seven bucks and I already have one uh, just back there behind the uh, uh, Xbox 360 Connect. Uh, I thought I'd get it just in case something happens to the one that I have. Um, next is an NES game, uh, the only NES game that I've gotten in a little while and that's Mylon Secret Castle or Mylon Secret Castle, however you want to say it. Uh, the sticker is, like, the label that is in great condition. Um, there is a small, well, kind of small sticker back here, but I can 
easily get rid of that. Uh, but yeah, a Hudson Soft game, uh, mixed reviews on it. I thought for six bucks, might as well. Next are a couple of 360 games that I got. Um, two of them were ten bucks, but the first one that I'm going to show was uh, three ninety nine at Value Village, and it's Project Silphied Arc of Deception, and it's complete and very few scratches, if any at all, actually. Uh, yeah, just a couple smudges, no real scratching. Uh, I don't know much about this, but again, uh, let's see. Engaging Space Saga from Square Enix, makers of Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts. Uh, just because it's a Square Enix game, I thought that was reason enough to get it, especially for just $3.99. Why not? Uh, these next two games, the first one is uh, by Konami, and it's Otomedius Excellent. Uh, it's a very interesting shooter, um, well, shoot 'em up, that is, uh, that involves a bunch of uh, scantily clad uh, teenage girls uh, riding rockets out into outer space and uh, through cities and into forests, uh, shooting at uh, various enemies, and I like shoot 'em ups. They're fun. They're easy to play. I love the power up systems. Uh, so I thought, why not? That's that's my main reason for uh, buying games if they're cheap enough, and if there are genres I like, I just say, why not? Uh, next is uh, Akai Katana, I believe that's how uh, you pronounce it. Uh, again, a shoot 'em up, uh, complete and perfect condition because I got it brand new. And yep, shoot 'em up. Can't really, <laughs> can't really say no to uh, another shoot 'em up. Now the last thing that I got uh, are a bunch of uh, uh, steel, uh, steel case. Uh, uh, game uh, boxes. I don't, I don't know what these are exactly called. Steelbook cases. Um, they were on the clearance sale, so I just bought a couple here. The first one's Assassin's Creed 3. I think this was a pre order uh, bonus from Best Buy or Future Shop. Uh, it's still in, in the original uh, packaging, so I just left it like that because I don't own the game yet. Uh, and after that is Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. So for the PS Vita, another game that I don't actually own yet, so I'll be looking out for it. Uh, next is a case for Duke Nukem Forever. I thought just because it's a terribly cheap game already, and it's just a terrible game apparently, um... I might as well get it. It'll be an interesting uh, story afterwards. Uh, next is the new Super Mario Brothers U uh, steelbook case. Now the front of it is uh, pretty good, but the back is kind of scratched up, especially along uh, one of these uh, Yoshi balloon creatures. <laughs> um, but it was the last one they had, and they were on clearance, so I thought, again, why not? And the last one is for uh, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Again, scratched up. It was the last one, and uh, again, scratched on the back there. So it's not, it's not in the best condition, but at least I get to see the Great Deku Tree. Now... That's it for this uh, pickups video. Uh, again, just let me know if you want me to continue making these videos. Uh, otherwise, I'll just I'll continue making these until somebody tells me to stop. But if someone uh, or a significant amount of people tell me that they're not interested in this segment, then I'll just go back to what I was doing before. Uh, and not to say that I'll stop doing what I was doing before, as I am continuing to do uh, product reviews and movie reviews and things like that. Um, just 
tell me uh, what you guys uh, think I should uh, uh, do with my channel. So if you want to stay up to date with uh, my uh, channel, that is, uh, add me on Facebook, uh, or I should say follow my uh, page on Facebook. Uh, check out my website, it's ultimatemediareviews.wordpress.com. Uh, uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, check out my uh, Google+, Plus. you'll want to check out these different places to stay up to date with uh, what I'm doing or to draw me a line to make a suggestion um, if there's anything that you'd want me to uh, review or just make a video about uh, that's your avenue to let me know um, and yep that's it see ya